I really liked uh, you, you. You mentioned something that uh, apparently you have the capacity to stay. Let's call it balanced. So you don't have an up, like oh, I'm so excited, I just got something, or but you don't have a down either. And, and that's one of the things that that's so important in life, and that most people don't have. The big danger that we have is that you know we get really excited. But we also get really emotional and 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 yeah. sad and depressed, and that's of course living in those that that's really dangerous. But living in many things, like you mentioned, is really good. Can you explain a little bit uh, more about that? Is it something that you learned? Have you always been like that? Mm, well, obviously, I have my ups ups and downs as well. You know what I mean, like. I get excited about little stuff and I get sad about stupid stuff. Then I know then that it will go away, but yeah, I don't know. For some reason, when I get any kind of news that's like big, like for example, like if I get like a big fight offered or a big fight announcement, or I get like a really bad news, like, of course I get sad. I get happy. I'm a human, you know what I mean? But I don't over like, I, I wait for it to sink in, you know what I mean? Like, it's like maybe I don't realize the the thing at first, you know what I mean? Even if they tell me, I'm like, my brain is like, nah, maybe it's not true, you know what I mean? I'm always like skeptic, you know what I mean? In every way. So by the time I realize it's true, I already like metabolize the information and my, you know, like I can deal with it better. But obviously I get like very emotional as well. I just don't, maybe I just don't show it actually. Maybe I get emotional, I don't show it. That's just who I am, like, it's my character. I'm like, I don't really show, like, like only people who really know me can see, like, what I'm feeling, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's like, yeah. But no, it's not something I've learned, I think. It's just maybe something I learned over, like, the course of my life, but I don't think it's something that I meant to learn, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, well, it's interesting. Well, one of the things, of course, that, that, that we know is that within that Muay Thai, and it's one of the things that we spoke about with one of the interviews we did specifically about Muay Thai, is that it's so important not to show uh, that you got hit, you know? Um, yeah. Could that be the trick? Like it's something typical that you've learned from the Thai culture? Mm, yeah, that could make sense. Like, well, not from the Thai culture, but for just being a Muay Thai fighter in Thailand, that like... Uh, well, I don't want to get too technical, but in every other combat sports, it's like it counts when you get when you hit the guy. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a point. But in Thailand, it's different. In Thailand, it's how you react to the other guy's hits and how you react to the fight in general and uh, to intimidations like that. So yeah, I guess it's uh, something that could be related to the Muay Thai way of uh, competing. Yeah, could be nice. That's interesting. Cool. Thanks for sharing. I appreciate it. Yeah.